Hey hello friends welcome back to my new video in this video we are going to make a offline iot dashboard in which we will monitor a real time sensor data on our phone browser or laptop browser and for making of this offline dashboard we don't require any kind of internet connectivity this iot dashboard is completely offline and one more thing the sensor data value will be automatically updated every after 2 second we don't need to refresh the page to get the real time data on our web page the value will be automatically updated because here we are using the web socket in web socket there is a two way communication so the sensor data value will be automatically updated and here we are using the access point mode of psp32 to host the web page so we don't require any kind of hotspot or router to host the web page so this is stand alone system which works completely offline So let's make this project from scratch. Uh, for this project, here I am using DST11 sensor and ESP32. So connect the data pin of DST11 sensor to the GPIO4 of ESP32, VCC to the 3.3 volt, and ground to the ground. Before we move on, let me tell you about a fantastic tool that has made my PCB design process so much more efficient: LTM365. LTM365 is the first open electronic hardware development platform that fosters a secure and collaborative design environment. Whether you are working alone or with a team, LTM365 ensures everyone is on the same page. Key benefits of LTM365 is data management. Store all your design data securely in one place with robust version control, ensuring everyone works with the latest file. Library management. Access millions of ready to use parts with up to date supply chain data, making informed design decision easier. supply chain management integrated bom management with real time data on parts availability and pricing helps streamline your production cycles collaboration enable seamless collaboration with your team and manufacturers reducing errors and speeding up the design process and if you are a student and want to be job ready in electronics design try ltm student lab you will get free access to ltm designer and ltm 365 so you can collaborate with your mates and earn a certificate that recognized by top industries in india it's a great way to boost your skills and your resume just enter your university email to get started for free and learn real skill that lead to real jobs with ltm student lab and benefits of this ltm student lab is you will get free access to ltm designer student license and pcb design courses university level curriculum and course certified from ltm education free access to power analyzer by keysight this is an amazing opportunity to gain industry recognized skills uh, thanks to ltm for sponsoring this video for more details check out the link in the description so this is our code for today's project so let me explain this code for you Uh, first year we added some necessary libraries which is wifi.h async tcp acp async web server.h and dst uh, these libraries are very important first add this library in your arduino id then upload the code otherwise you will get an error after that here we have two variable ssid and password in these two variable in ssid you have to enter the access point ssid and in password password and by using this ssid and password our esp32 will broadcast a wifi by using that wifi we will connect our laptop browser or phone browser to monitor the real time value of our sensors after that here we create a web server on port number 80 uh, this port 80 is a default port for html uh, after that here we create a web socket endpoint here we are using web socket because we don't want to refresh every time when we want real time data of our sensors so using web socket we can get the real time data without refreshing the web page after that here we define the gpio for dst sensor uh, in this project i am using gpio 4 you can use any gpio you want and after that here we define which dst type we are using in this project i am using dst 11 you can use any other dst like dst 22 or dst 21 then here we create a dst type object uh, that is dst itself in which we are sending dst pin and dst type then here we have two variables temperature and humidity which is a float type variable in which we store the temperature and humidity after that here we have a function called sensor data uh, in this function we have sensor data which is a string type variable in which we are storing both temperature and humidity in a single string after that we are calling this function called ws.textall sensor data we are passing this sensor data variable Uh, to send all the client client means all the browser data connected with the sp32 so if there is any new data updated data then all the data are given to the all the client data connected with the sp32 uh, client means browser data connected with the sp32 so in the code if i am calling client uh, that means i am talking about browser of our laptop or phone and after that again we have another function called read sensors 
in which we are reading the temperature value and humidity from our DST level sensor. After that, we are printing on the serial monitor real time temperature and humidity value uh, for debugging or also for monitoring. Uh, after that, we are calling this function send sensor data that I just explained here. And after that, we have another function called on web socket event. Uh, basically, this function handles the, all the events that occurs on the browser side. So, this function handle all the web socket events. After that, here we have a basic HTML code for displaying the web page on our browser. So, this is the HTML code. Here I am using UTF-8 meta tag to display the special characters like emojis and all. After that, in the setup part, we started the serial communication with serial monitor at the board depth 115200. Then here we slice the DST sensor. Uh, here we started the access point with the given SSID and password. After that, we are retrieving IP address from the access point that we created by using the SSID and password. Uh, after that, on the serial monitor, we are printing that ESP32 access point started. Connect to Wi-Fi and open HTTP and the IP address. So in the serial monitor, we will get an IP address. By using that IP address, we will open a web page on our browser uh, to monitor the real-time temperature and humidity from the DST11 sensor. After that, here we are setting the route to serve our web page on the route path. That is the HTML page. Uh, here we are set the web socket. Here we are handling the all the web socket event, and here we are adding the web socket endpoint to the server. Uh, after that, here we started server which serve the web page along with the web socket. Uh, after that, in the loop part, here we are calling read sensor function, which I explained already here in the code. This function. After that, here we have another function uh, that is cleanup client. Uh, this function is responsible for cleaning all the unconnected client, client that are no more connected to the ESP32. After that, here we have two second delay. That means we will update the sensor data on the our browser every after two seconds. So yeah, that's all about the explanation of this code. Now upload this code into your ESP32 board after selecting the right board and right communication port. So click on this upload button to upload the code. Uh, here our code is successfully uploaded. Now open the serial monitor. As you can see here we will get the real time temperature humidity value. So first let me reset the ESP32. Here as you can see, here we got an IP address that we need to open in our browser to monitor the real time temperature and humidity value. But first, uh, connect your laptop or phone with the access point that our ESP32 is hosted. So open the Wi-Fi setting of your laptop and connect with this ESP32 underscore IoT underscore dashboard hotspot. And the password is 1234567 and click on join. Uh, now copy this IP address and open on the browser as you can see on the browser we will get a temperature and humidity value on this web page so this page is looks very beautiful along with these emojis and all so on this web page we will get a real time temperature and humidity value which will update every after two seconds and best part is we don't require to refresh this page again and again to get the real time temperature value this value will be automatically updated every after two seconds so this is all about the laptop browser let me show you how we can monitor on our phone browser the process is same so first let me start the screen recording to show you uh, first open the wi-fi setting of your phone and look for this Wi-Fi network that is ESP32 underscore IoT dashboard. So click on this, enter the password, then click on join. After successfully connected with this Wi-Fi, uh, open your browser and then enter the IP that is 19.2.168.4.1. Uh, as you can see in our phone browser, we will also get a real time temperature humidity value which is same as our laptop browser. So here we are monitoring the real time sensor data on our phone browser as well as on the laptop browser. So yeah, that's all in this video. I hope you like this video and learn something new.
Uh, in this video, basically I just demonstrate how you can make an offline IoT dashboard in which we just simply add a DST11 sensor to monitor the sensor data in our browser. But in this project, we can add lot more things. Like we can add a SD card, store all the readings in the SD card. We can add real time graphs and also we can host this system globally to monitor our sensor data from any part of the world. And also we can add buttons to control the home appliances of our houses. So there is a chance of lots of update in this video. I will make all the update in my future videos. So stay tuned with my channel. And if you have any question or queries regarding this project, you can ask me in the comment section below or you can also contact me via WhatsApp. Uh, this is my phone number and also this is my email ID. So you can contact me by these channels. And if you want to purchase any component or module for your project, you can purchase from my website that is technorivelectronics.com. So yeah, that's all. We will meet in next video. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.